Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Rafael Varane starts with Samuel Umtiti as the centre-backs. And up front, Antoine Griezmann, the main striker today. Thank you. Enjoy the This is the Portugal team for today. With an emphasis may be on getting into the game, not getting out of the game before 20 minutes or so. They want to start solidly with those two holding midfield players. Yeah, don't lose the match before really you've worked your way into it. I think that's probably the message in their dressing room and uh, it's reflected in that shape that we see. Here's Conte. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Pogba. Credit to both players. The intent was good from the passer with the through ball. Uh, the perception was great by the defender. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Griezmann. Promising build-up until that challenge. Cavalier. Jean Mario. But it is amazing that these two teams have got to the World Cup final. It does show the breadth of talent around the globe. Yeah, it is the beauty of football, isn't it? Giro! Well, sometimes these opportunities can come too early, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, maybe just caught cold there, wasn't expecting the chance to land at his feet and made a mess of it. Well, just to go back to what we were about to say about this final in particular and how these sides have really fought their way through against the odds to get into an arena where the whole world will be watching today. And it's how they handle that. They'll be well aware of the scrutiny that's going to be upon them over the next 90 minutes or more. Free kick given by the ref. It's a yellow card, and, well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. The poor tackle, but it hasn't done any harm, and they've still got the ball despite the challenge on them. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. Olivier Giroud. Giroud with the incisive pass. Hopper in, really, for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear, I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Mbappe. There's good progress with this attack. Olivier Giroud. The pass threaded through. Griezmann. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. A chance to break away now on the counter. It's Bernardo Silva. Well, the wide man can show his skills here. Ronaldo. Ronaldo! to switch on the attacking power in this situation. And shoots! That's great work by the goalkeeper. Lamar. And that's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide areas, and he's got there. Lamar! Obviously thought he'd really got to connect there, and he did. But maybe it just put his aim off. Yeah, I mean, a bit of contact maybe from the defender, but uh, you would have expected him to score from there. Now Guerrero. William Cavallo. Here's Adrian Silva. Able to make a good interception. Lamar. Here's Hernandez. And got a contact. I like the look of this attack. Drills it in. Goal! It's the first goal in the 
2018 World Cup final. Well, what a moment for the lad, and what a good finish it was. He can't have scored many better than this with the bend he's imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. That's good for France. They've got this lead. Fogba. Now Adrian Silva. Added time coming up, there'll be two minutes of it. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Nico Loris is the goalkeeper. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Second half of the World Cup final, and we're off and France. Are hoping that they can continue to do what they've done well enough in the first half, Alan. Yeah, I think they have been good value for this lead, but it is still a slend. And here's the shot. Made the challenge well. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. <laughs> Trying to catch the opposition out with a short corner. Ponte. Now the shot. It's a corner again. In from Antoine Griezmann. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Close. Free kick given. Andre Silva. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, what a good time to score that was. Uh, Side in the lead. Teammates arriving for the cutback here. Adrian Silva. Now with Bernardo Silva. Here's Adrian Silva. They've got numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. Now Adrian Silva. That's a brilliant challenge. Lamar. That's caught the defenders out. It's a great run and a good pass. Shots on here. Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. France have been given the corner. Well, the manager not wasting any time here. He's going to make the change. And they are going to try and turn this around. Short corner. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. It's Bernardo Silva, on to Ronaldo. Lucas Hernandez. And there's the cutback. Oh, we've got an angle on this uh, offside call, Alan, and I must say, it is the most difficult thing in all the officiating, I think, but this assistant has got eagle eyes. Well, I certainly wouldn't want to do that job because uh, the uh, speed that players move now, as it turns out, what a great call. They've got to try and stay patient here in these closing minutes. Well, the time for patient short passing has stopped, I think, because route one is the order of the day now as they load the box here's adrian silva and here they are on the attack now griezmann has lost his marker by coming wider He's gone into some traffic, but it could be dangerous here for the opposition. Mbappe! Olivier Giroud. 
And that's good support as they build this attack. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly. Players haven't put the ball out, they're playing on, but the referee said no. He's worried about the player and he stopped the game. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. That's good movement forward here. Dembele. Can really get at the opposition here. He cut it back looking for a teammate. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. There's action on the Portugal bench with the substitutes. Decided to take a short corner this time. Griezmann. Andre Silva. Well, he saw the guy could switch the play to and came up with the pass. This could be a chance. Oh, what a miss. Well, what a chance for an equaliser that was. And I think the tension got to him, tightened up. Lamar. Now Guerrero. Jean Moutinho. Bernardo Silva. It would have been a crunching. Bernardo Silva! 20 years after winning the World Cup for the only previous time, France are champions again. Wonderful moments for these lads. They've thoroughly entertained us in this World Cup in Russia. They really have scored some spectacular goals. But this scene tops it all off. Against their names in football history, long after they've gone, it will say world champion. There's no higher accolade. No, and it's difficult to argue that they're not deserved winners in this competition. To a man, they gave it their all out there. Champions of the world, the best feeling in the world. They're on top of the world. There's a real togetherness amongst those players, and they've needed it at times. They've came through some sticky periods in this competition. But it was all worth it, wasn't it? Sharing it with the supporters. And they'll know where their families are as well. Forever linked with Moscow. Forever linked with Russia. Forever linked with the FIFA World Cup. And they've needed those fans at times. They've stuck with them. Quite rightly, they acknowledge that support. They will not want this day to end, but they will get some souvenirs of it now as the photographers gather for these prime pictures of the winners of the FIFA World Cup 2018. 